Good morning, middle school. Welcome to week four quiz. 17 marks this week, four sections again. First section, oh, it never works, no one did, is can you guess what the animal, so creature, could be animal, could be bird, could be fish, could be reptile, could be insect, what it is, and I'm going to show you a small part of it. So remember, write your answers down, shout them out, or remember them, and I'll give you the answers straight after I've gone through the questions. So here's the first one. What is that one? What is that? Animal, reptile, insect, bird, fish. Second one. If you like Disney films, you might know that one. And if you know the particular sort of creature it is, that would be great. That's a worth a pat on the back. Next one. What is that? Fish, reptile, bird, animal. Hopefully you know. But I think with this one, if you know, if you think it's a fish, then you have to say what sort of fish. So you might think fish, shark. You might think animal, dog. So if you can name the specific sort of creature is, that would be good. What's that one? That's probably easier than it looks. Well, there's a fair bit of white. There's some black and yellow there to help. That one, this one in the pre-prep quiz as well. And I said, you wouldn't really want to meet one of those at any time of the day or night. They can be quite nasty. <laughs> Nor would you want to meet one of those either. So that's the final question in that section. Okay, so six creature questions from the small part of the creature you saw. Do you know what the name or the type of the creature actually was? So going on to the next section, name that fruit. Okay, so these get progressively harder. If you get all of these, I'll be very impressed. Let's see which fruitarians we have amongst year three, four or five. Here's the first one. Delicious. But what is it? And you wouldn't eat all of that. Oh, if you did, you'd be quite sick, I suspect. First one. That's the next one. So it's chopped in half to see or to show you what's on the inside. Here's the one after. Okay, quite a difficult one, that one. But what is that? Moving on. That's quite a tricky one. I'm not sure how many of you would have come across one of those before, but there's a bit of a clue in the photograph. And then the final one in this section. Whoa, if you get this one, I'll be incredibly impressed. You don't normally see them like that in the shops. You normally see, see them all dried out in the packet. And they're supposed to be very, very good for you. Right, now this is a, a new round. So I'm not sure whether it's going to work. So there's going to be a sentence written out, or part of a sentence. And in the sentence, there'll be a name hidden. And what you have to do is work out what the name is. So as an example, here's a sentence. I eat my curry and rice. And the name that's hidden in there is Ryan. So at the end of curry, the beginning of and, you have the letters R-Y-A-N, A-N even, so that word is Ryan. So you've got three sentences here, and I give you a bit of time to look. You have to work out what the hidden name is. I'll try to give you a clue with each one. So I'll wait five seconds, then I'll give you a clue. So if you don't want to hear, block your ears after five seconds. So the clue for this one is that there is a child with this name in the middle school. So there is a child with this name in the middle school. That's the first one. Next one. And the clue for this one is that there is a child 
with this name in the senior school in year six, seven or eight as a child with this name. He cut his knee but had no scars. The cookie ran away with the spoon. And for this one, there's a child with this name who's in the pre-prep and has a sibling, a brother or sister, in the senior school. And I think, uh, yes, and a sibling, brother or sister in the middle school. So sibling, senior school, sibling, middle school, and this child is in pre-prep. So those are those three. And the final round is things beginning with R. And I save the sweet photograph to the end, just to finish the quiz with a bit of a bang. So first one, what animal is that? The snow might be too much of a clue for you, so fairly straightforward. What's the name of that animal? Not an animal, but they, that also begins with R. What are they? And the final one, my favourite photograph of this week. What is that? What animal is that? Okay, that's the end of the quiz. So 17 marks available. If you want to pause, pause now. I'm going to go straight on to the answers. Here we are, first one. The answers. The name of the creature, first one was a ladybird. I'm sure you all got that one right. So ladybird. Next one's a fish. And if you've got clownfish, well done. That's from Nemo. Well, it's not from Nemo, it's from the ocean, but obviously a clownfish or clownfishes starred in Nemo. That's a peacock, a bird, a peacock. So I think I wanted the name peacock rather than just a bird there. That's a peacock. That's a penguin. And if you had Emperor Penguin, very well done. Pat on the back for that, but no extra marks. That's a penguin. And that's a snake, and the particular type was a, a cobra or cobra. I think you can pronounce it either way. Very dangerous. They rise up and they've got a hood around their head. I think you get spitting cobras as well. Is that a spitting adder? I don't know. But they're quite nasty snakes. And if you see one of those, you want to go in the opposite direction as soon as you can. That's a skunk. Don't get that too excited or else there'll be a nasty odour. So that's a skunk. And that's the end of the first section. So six questions there. Going on to name that fruit. First one, pineapple. Of course, I'm sure you all got that one right. Next one's a kiwi fruit. And I was saying to pre-prep, people eat these in a couple of different ways. Some slice the top off and then eat it, the inside of it with a spoon, like they'd eat an egg. Other people, including me, eat the whole fruit, so the skin and all. It tastes delicious either way. So that's a kiwi fruit. That's a mango. Big yellow slices, often seen in tropical fruit salads. Lovely fruit, mango. That one's a star fruit, as you probably worked out from the, the shape of the slice of the fruit. That's a star fruit. And who got this last one right? If you did, I'd be very impressed. But they're goji berries. So they're usually seen in dried out format in the supermarket. They're supposed to be very healthy and very good for you. But that's the end of the fruit. If you got full marks on the fruit, then you are a genuine and real fruitarian. So very well done. So you have to spot the name, remember the clue there, or the example showed you Ryan. First one, better late than never. The name hidden there is Ethan. So the E of late and then the whole of the van, Ethan. Next one is Oscar. He cut his knee but had no scars. That's Oscar. And the final one, the cookie ran away with the spoon is Kieran. So the end of cookie and then the word ran is Kieran. So those are the three names. Hope you did well there. 
begin with an R, reindeer of course. Mind you, Christmas, a long way away. That is a radish, or those are radishes. I hated those when I was a child, but I quite like eating them now. It's amazing how your taste bud changes, your taste buds change over the years. And the final one is a raccoon. I think they look quite harmless there, and I think they mostly eat fruit. But I do think if they get excited, they can give a nasty bite. So that's a raccoon. And that is the end of the quiz. Out of 17, let me know how you did on the classroom. I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to talking to you next week. I hope you have great baking this afternoon for the family event. Okay, bye for now.